right you guys welcome to vlogmas day two we are going to continue the things that we are going to do differently for baby number two i talked about a really heavy one that i have a feeling i'm going to struggle with um i discussed that in the last video so definitely go check that out if you're interested we're going to just continue on with this list this next one i feel like also might be a difficult one and that's gonna be that i am not gonna have visitors at my house after i give birth for an undetermined period of time i am gonna take things day by day um with noah my firstborn we were living at my parents house when we had him so we were living with my mom my dad my little brother my grandmother her caretaker who she had a caretaker i think almost 24 hours at that time so it was like another person living here me my husband and my baby so there were eight of us here so it was a lot and obviously it wasn't our house like it was kind of like first and foremost my grandma's house and then my parents place too so when people would want to come over they wouldn't ask me if they could come over they would ask my parents if they could come over which in hindsight to me is just a little weird because they're not the ones who gave birth and they're not the ones who like are the parent of the newborn baby like i feel like you should probably ask the parents of the newborn baby if you can come visit um so i would literally be sobbing into my dinner and people would be coming over and i'd just be like ah, hi They're like how are you i'm like actively crying uncontrollably because my postpartum depression was really really bad like I, I had no control over that so this time i am going to prioritize my mental health because that like i know that kind of sounds selfish but i need to make sure that i'm okay for my newborn and for my five-year-old so definitely gonna take things day by day and see how how long it takes for us to kind of get settled in i want to be able to just focus on on figuring out our day on learning you know the baby and i learning each other uh, when it comes to breastfeeding and just our just life you know what i mean like i don't want to have to worry about hosting people but i think just like with other people like with our aunties and uncles and cousins and all that kind of stuff like obviously i want y'all to meet baby like i'm very excited about that i'm i'm very i'm very into people who are like intentional about wanting to be around my kids and being in their lives but i definitely also hope that people can like respect that i need to take the time to balance my hormones and like literally heal from the inside out take time to just be a family of four and all that kind of stuff so that is something that we're gonna do and we're gonna figure it out so either myself or my mother will let people know like when they can visit the next thing is like something different but it's like not a huge thing so with noah we didn't know about babies like wake windows and sleepy cues and hunger cues we didn't know about that kind of stuff until he was about two and a half months old so for this time we're definitely going to pay attention to that kind of stuff but not be so rigid like we're going to try to create like a schedule ish to kind of like work around but also know that like newborns are newborns and they may not want to follow a schedule they're just kind of figuring out life you know so that's something different we're gonna try to try to pay attention to all those like cues um to hopefully help us but then also if it doesn't you know if it's still kind of chaotic then it is what it is the last two things are gonna be that we're gonna share much less personal details about this next baby and then I'm gonna continue to share obviously like less details about Noah as well because for a while after he was born I was doing a lot of like mommy content and you know with mommy content comes sharing your child and I was doing like monthly updates and giving like details about his milestones and what he's achieved and all this kind of stuff and I know that's like fun to watch but those are like details about my 
child that don't need to be shared online especially he's a baby like or he was a baby he cannot consent to that even now even technically a 15 year old couldn't consent to it so i definitely want to try and respect my children's privacy their dignity as much as possible and not share personal details about them like even in real life i try not to share much about noah so like when one time an electrician came to our house to like fix something and Noah was around and he literally asked Noah like oh what preschool do you go to? First he asked him what his name was and of course he said what his name was and then he said oh what preschool do you go to? And it's like um excuse me you can back the hell up and get out of my house. Why do you need to know my son's name and where he goes to preschool? That's freaking weird. So in those situations where it's like super 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 strangers like we literally don't know you then i say oh we don't share that kind of information when it's people like co-workers were like i'm not really your friend but like i definitely know you and they ask that question i'll say like oh he goes to school in a town you know i say what city or town he goes to preschool and i won't say what school he goes to um and then when it is like close family or friends then will share like what it is but just with like information like that it's just you just never know and again referencing what i said in the part one is unfortunately when you're a parent and you have to be vigilant you cannot see the world through rose colored glasses you have to be aware and you kind of you definitely have to have like your spidey senses on because why is this random electrician asking so many questions about my four-year-old you know so anyways we're gonna share a lot less personal info about our kids and then the last thing that so far um i plan to do differently for this next baby is is have more of a routine for myself and like take care of myself a little bit better obviously like when you're a first time mom and then for me i had really bad postpartum um depression like from the jump and then my postpartum anxiety like slowly built and built and built and built until i was a nervous wreck and i had to i had to seek out therapy again so that was really difficult but for someone you know going through all of that i did not prioritize myself at all and it has nothing to do with any other people like my husband was great and like if i if i did prioritize these things i definitely could have it's just that for me like mentally and whatever like i just didn't think to do all these things and think that it would help probably with my mental health um like i would remember going like two days without brushing my teeth and there were days where i don't even know how many days strung together where i did not shower and i know that sounds disgusting but if you're someone who either was in the trenches of newborn life or suffered severe depression you know that that's just how it is sometimes and and it's easy to judge like when you don't know what that's like but when you're in that whole it's so easy to just not take care of yourself um so for this next baby i really want to prioritize just the basic things <laughs> brushing my teeth washing my face shout you know, just like body shower you know every day maybe brushing up my brows and throwing on some eyeliner i don't wear face makeup when i have um babies kind of for the most part because i don't want the makeup to get on them and i want to be able to like snuggle and and stuff like that um but you know just brushing up the eyebrows or throwing on some liner like today i don't even have mascara i've just been loving throwing on some liner on the outer ends of my eyes and like lip gloss you know so i really am gonna try to prioritize those things and hope that it helps my mental health so yeah so these are kind of the things that are mostly like labor delivery and then like newborn life related i have not thought further than that but i'm sure i will come up with things later that i probably will do differently maybe when it comes to um 
bottle uh, feeding or starting solids or baby proof like I don't know I have not gotten that far in my brain yet I'm really trying to just get through this pregnancy because I do not feel good I I'm struggling okay I'm 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 trying to get through this so maybe I will make an updated video with more things that I will do differently uh in the future but this is it for now thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it i don't know when vlogmas day three will be up but i will try to come up with um content that i think you guys will like and yeah thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe down below turn on post notifications give this video a big thumbs up go follow me on instagram and i will see you in the next video love you